What is up guys? Welcome back to episode two of the mail call. If you haven't seen episode one, I highly recommend it. I'll have the link down below. Definitely go check out the custom that James sent from Hewitt's Hot Wheels. My man sent the most wicked and fully detailed 65 two plus two I have ever seen in person. I mean, his quality is hands down and the video never captures the depth of his detail, how the quality of his paint comes out. I just really recommend you guys swinging over to his channel if you haven't already and check him out. So we're gonna jump straight into this. We finished off with the Bone Shaker out of the Hot Wheels Skate Series. This was definitely one I needed for the collection. So we're gonna actually gonna open it up now because I just don't wanna wait on it. So here we go, check it out. Bone Shaker is freed. This is actually the closed roof version, which I do really like, either the open top or even the closed top. I really do like it, but check it out. Beautiful blue metallic. It looks Spectra Flame, um, but yeah, out of the package, it's actually a blue metallic. You do have the orange wheels with the white five spokes, and of course, the Bone Shaker has its signature skull in the front in chrome and just definitely another awesome piece. So we're actually gonna throw this into the Bone Shaker Jammer. So here are all of my loose ones. All of these for the most part. All of these for the most part were sent by Grandpa Larry. Some of them are exclusives, hard to find, but I was like, you know what? I really love the Bone Shakers. They're not leaving my collection. Um, I've hooked King Nut up with quite a few, but uh, yeah, I definitely wanted to open them up and put them together. This one's a Walgreens exclusive, I believe. Got a mystery model. The two variations of the Bone Shaker, you have the hard edged um, right above the little valve cover. You see it's a 90 degree cut. And then you have the rounded fender or rounded cut right over the engine bay. So definitely pay attention to those because those are variations to the casting. I don't know if it was a tooling thing, but the newer ones have the rounded corners the older ones are the boxed and squared ones so i don't know when they changed out the tooling or if that's what it is but there we go so we can add this beautiful skate hot wheels version of the bone shaker in there leaving five spaces for some more goodies all right guys let's check out what my man put in here let's pull these two out because these are really catching my eye. Check this out guys, we have the Datsun 510 wide body, and that is such a beautiful blue. You have the nice BBK or lace style wheels on there, heat extractor up on the top of that hood, and then you do have the silver Datsun half stripes black duckbill wing, and the black diffusers. This is out of the JDM tuners out of the metals die cast. Check that out. Look at the cars in this series. You have the Supra, the BNR34. You have the Skyline 2000 GTR. That's a beautiful one. GTR R35 and the Evo 7. Man, that's a sweet lineup right there. So it kind of reminds me of the one that um, ID sent me, which is right here. Same hood. You do have the wide body and the 73. Um, this is a larger scale. I think it's a 123, 132. So 132 scale, yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Same wide body 73, 510 right there. So that one is awesome. And then followed up, we have the R35. Look at that, white and satin black tiger stripes on there or tear stripes outlined in red. You have the nice blacked out wheels on there, blacked out headlights. Man, that is sweet. And I'm just glad they have the details of the headlights and taillights on there. This lineup's different on the back. You have the NSX Type R, the FT1 Concept. Man, that's nice. You got the other R35 Ben Sopra and the 95 Supra and the Evo 7. Just all recolors. But that Toyota FT1, that thing is sweet. Even the NSX, this whole lineup. I mean, you can never go wrong with some JDM tuners, but these series... I gotta look into those. All right guys, we have a whole bunch of loose castings kind of mixed in with some carded ones. Let's see if we can get this lid to stay down. So the carded ones, here we go. We have the Dodge Charger Daytona tuned. 
I do have this one, but this is a wheel error. You can see there is no yellow ring on the back PR5s, but beautiful orange, and I think I have it loose right over here. Uh, yeah, so there we go. That's the wheel that it's supposed to have on the back. And you can see it's just missing the yellow ring on there. So really cool error. So awesome, man. Awesome. Next up, we have some Matchbox. It looks like the Volkswagen Transporter Cabs. Look at these. Oh, they're variations. Check that out. So just from looking at it, you're like, oh, it's the same casting, same everything, nothing new about it. But when you look into the bed of it, this one has tools, a spare tire, a chain, and the other one isn't. It's a slick back actually nice and clean check that out totally different tooling for that plastic mold now that is cool man when you guys know I love variations because a lot of people aren't aware of it and at the beginning of collecting I wasn't either until I started really paying attention and people helping me out with showing me that there's so many variations to a particular casting or just mini casting so Definitely, if you see other variations of a car that you have, just make sure it is not a variation. Oh my gosh, guys. Uh, let's get through all the carded stuff. Ooh, nice. Oh, dude, that is sweet. Look at that, man. The Dale Sr. little sticker with his Monte Carlo, and I love the silhouette. Dude, that is sweet. Nice. Here we go, mystery model. Oh, dude. I hope you hooked me up with the lower three. Oh, because I was really wanting to get my hands on that Corvette. All right, number two and number four. Which one's number four? All right, let's go ahead and open up this one. Yes, there we go. Nice, man. 55 Corvette in red. There we go. And that red is so cherry. And I love that they went with the black five spokes with the bold white walls on there. That was a solid choice for whoever thought that this would be a really good setup for a mystery model. Look at that, man. That thing is beautiful. All you need is a little touch of some headlights, maybe some bumper details, but this thing overall is a beautiful and very clean mystery model. Check that out. Nice, man. Let's go ahead and see what number four is. Oh, nice. We got the purple passion. Look at that nice lime green. You got a little tropical theme going on here. You have the black MC5s with the copper ring. And you have a little toucan kind of chilling out on that leaf. Look at that, dude. That is super cool. So it's the Jungle Cruise. Nice. God, that's a beautiful color. Very, very vibrant. Oh man, we got some NASCAR. Oh, ho, ho, dude. Dale Sr.'s pink car. You are absolutely freaking awesome. I was literally talking about this car because a coworker brought some NASCAR stuff and there was an old uh, Dale, Dale Sr. car, which I do have in the collection, but I was like, yeah, the only one I really want to get my hands on that I haven't been able to find is his pink car. And it's like Rich, like his ears were ringing. He's like, somebody say a pink car and threw it in the box. Dude, look at that, man. That is awesome. 56 Ford. Man, this right here is the absolute gem for my Dale Sr. Even though there's some awesome ones in there, guys. This was one I was like, man, I hope I can find one off of eBay or maybe like just randomly stumble across it. But dude, nice. Nice. Oh, I cannot wait to show my buddy at work. And not even stopping there, we have the Wheaties. Dale Sr. Dude, you rock, man. Look at that. Man, that is a beauty. Loving the orange number three Wheaties car. Man, that is what I'm talking about, man. There we go. Some Dale Sr.'s. And followed up with Mark Martin. Check this one out, though. This is a different Thunderbird. I don't think I have this variation. This is metal on metal. This thing is super heavy. But it's got more of his Streamline number 6 for the Valvoline. And this is actually really detailed. Let's go ahead and see 
um, which ones I have and which ones I don't. So let's see. Yeah, this is definitely a generation of Thunderbird that I do not have. Look at that, dude. That is totally cool, man. Another variation to throw in the collection. My man, you rock. Freaking loving it. And then next up, check it out. Gosh, we have another Dale, but this is the Junior's Nilla Wafers car. Check that out, guys. That is sweet. There are so many iterations of the number three. Oh man, it's gonna be a huge rabbit hole, but I love it, man. Absolutely love it. Oh, gotta love a Nutter Butter, man. Rich, dude, killing it. Uh-oh, what do we have? What's sneaking over here? Dude, the old Eagle One number six. Oh, that is sweet, man. The four Taurus with the Eagle One. Nice. Oh, man. Now that is awesome. This is one you do not see every day. Oh man, there we go. Some more stuff I gotta tag Mark Martin in. He's probably uh, he's probably always wondering why I'm tagging it. He's always liking my pictures. So as long as he doesn't say, dude, stop tagging me, I am A-OK -okay for my favorite driver liking my posts. All right, let's see. We have some more loose castings right here. Oh man, the Amazoom. I believe this was a mystery model at some point. I do have one of these, but you have the red plastic body with the black MC5's yellow ring. And of course, this is a plastic on plastic, which is not very common anymore. They don't do that. They usually keep it tooled with the plastic base, but this was just plastic on plastic. There we go. It's actually a really cool car. The Amazon is definitely a car that I could see either on the rally track or some type of grand touring type of race. So. There is that one. That's a pretty sweet one. All right, what do we have here? We have a BMW M series. I think this is a M3. So it's the M3 in pearl white. Beautiful pearl white. Got the nice front end details with the grill. The chrome Y5s with a large fitment and no taillight tampos, but still a super clean Beamer. There we go, beautiful white though. And next up, ooh, nice, Ford Falcon. Dude, that is such a sweet casting, man. Look at the roll cage and interior of this car. It is just, it looks like this thing can roll down a hill and be like Dom from Fast and the Furious. Nothing will absolutely happen to you, even if a tank ran you over. Check that out though. Uh, these Ford Falcons are super cool. I might switch out the wheels, put the gray ones back on there, or I might take it apart, just clean out the axles and just get it all nice and cherry again. But this thing is super cool. And I think I only have maybe one or two other iterations or variations of the Ford Falcon race car, but this thing is super cool. All right, here we go. The 53 Custom. Look at that, man. That is super sweet. This looks like a holiday season. You got the snowflakes on there. Kind of looks like Louis Vuitton a little bit. Kind of does from a distance. Like, oh, look at that Louis. You go, you have the nice transparent hood where you can see the motor inside of it. It's almost got a smoked gold tint. But man, it looks really good. You got the OH5s in the smaller fitment all the way around. Gold bumpers, gold base and interior. Oh yeah, there you go. You got the little snowman right there with the Hot Wheels signifying this was out of a holiday season. And I do have a couple variations of it. We have one in that beautiful green metallic and then in the and then the recolor in red metallic. And then I just recently picked up the blue card version of it right here, which we do have in the blue metallic with the pink stripe and the clear hood on there. So I do really like that casting. I think it's a super cool idea how they have the transparent hood and it's just a really modified 53. So nice, dude. Next up, we have a Formula Indy car. Look at that. Nice purple metallic. You got the MC5s and the Sogi right there on the side, number 12. 
this could be a really fast car on the track we've seen the gen e car that's doing pretty well from mopar chaser so this could be another competition in the future all right here we go we got some cards <laughs> yes dude here we go we got mark martin and dale senior my man Ooh, look at that man that is a super cool roush racing one that is nice so on the back it's got the facts with experience starts polls wins top five top ten that is awesome we have that one and then dale seniors 1989 lowe's food pontiac i'd like to see that casting so funny enough in this binder down here gone down many rabbit holes guys this is some got some nascar stuff over here let's move it over there's the other sticker i have haven't stuck it down got joey logano we got those vintage decals that big daddy sent i don't know what to do with those yet so i'm keeping them in here to protect them but here we go started putting all of the cards from the stuff i'm opening up in here so we have the richard petty going into mark martin's cards right here um then i got the dale senior stuff so i'll move one of these next gen cards out because they say the same thing put the dale senior card right in there and then let's see what can i shift around um i might be able to move let's play musical chairs let's go ahead and move these two here move dale down here another dale will move put those like cards together and then we'll put the roush valvoline right up top next to the other mark martin so dude nice so yeah these are all the cards i'm keeping because i i love the cards too i don't want to throw them away just because i opened up the castings got some that most of you guys have sent me i'm putting them in these cases as well or sleeves so yeah i have this and then these are the fandom variations of all the mustangs that i have um, that way i can keep track of what has the wheel what wheel interior variation base variation all of these printouts guys and these are all just mustangs i've started doing the camaros and corvettes these are just logs that way when i get a casting i can see if i have all the variations of it so i highly recommend doing that if you're super serious into collecting but uh yeah going down that hole of keeping cards now too all right next up we have another bag of loose ones here we go we got the shelby car right here look at this dude that is beautiful man that's a nice color setup love the blue metallic with the orange white and silver striping on there so the shelby gr1 concept this is just a super cool streamline shelby right here but the color scheme to this is very very heritage if you look at the old ford gts and gt40s they have this this vintage or heritage style striping of course with the orange it's very signature but man this is a really nice variation here we go we have a loose one here we go the loose 300 zx purple metallic of course this does have the opening doors on there so here we go i do have these carded and they are both right here but there we go we have three of these beauties right here i do have another one um, that i actually restored i just doesn't have the tampos very similar in color but um it's in my loose bin oh nice look at this one now this gr1 concept i have never seen this color look at that really nice green not a metallic green but more of a just a green enamel you got the nice silver racing stripes with the reverse cutout flames on there and then you have the huge OH5s in the back and smaller ones up front. Nice, dude. And then here we go. I think this is the Mazda. I think it's the Mazda. Yep, there you go. You got the Mazda badge up front. Beautiful bluish silver metallic. Almost like a titanium color or graphite. But chrome OH5s all the way around. Nice silver and red striping. And it looks like the number 55 on there. So uh, yeah, this is the Mazda Fury. Very, very cool casting. This makes number three now for the collection. Next bag of loose castings, here we go. Looks like some older ones. 
Here we go. Let's pull these all out. This looks like a McDonald's car and this one. Let's see. McDonald's Hot Wheels. All right, so they're all McDonald's Hot Wheels. Nice. Check it out. You got the Plymouth Prowler. Nice. Purple metallic with the surfboards on there and the chrome three spokes. Yeah, definitely a Plymouth Prowler or some sort. So that's awesome. Another McDonald's one is this one. I don't know what this would be, but really nice green. And I'm digging those wheels. Digging those wheels, but it almost looks like, yeah, like a twin mill or some type of canopied version of a twin mill. That is nice. Followed up, we have this little brown beetle looking thing, almost like a go-kart mixed with, I don't know, really nice copper though. You got the McDonald's version of their five dots in chrome, really cool motor out the back. This thing's actually metal on metal. This thing's pretty heavy. This is a McDonald's one? And you throw this at your little brother after you get this out of a Happy Meal, you are definitely causing some scars. And followed up with the formula car, super futuristic formula from McDonald's. Look at those old lace wheel looking, looking tires. Man, this is actually kind of, this is actually kind of cool. Ever seen this kind of casting before, of course. A lot of times with McDonald's, they use fantasy castings. Every now and then, they'll throw a super cool one like this little S10 I have. This truck is super sweet. It's almost like a custom. You got the five spokes on there, all blacked out, tonneau cover. Then you have that very, very bright neon colored base. But this truck is really cool. Very street looking. It's actually the next loose bag, and this one's NASCAR heavy. Oh man, yes, we got the small scales. Check this out, guys. You have the number three, looks like the American Ethanol, and it's the Camaro. I think this is an Austin Dillon. Check it out. Yeah, 2019 Camaro ZL1. That is definitely Austin Dillon's number three. Nice, dude. That is super cool. Next up, we have the PPG number 12. And this is the Ryan Blaney. Check out that color fade, man. That is really nice. Of course, driving the Mustang, this is definitely going to be another heavy hitter for my collection. This one right here, guys, definitely eyeballing this livery. This one's my favorite one that Joey Logano drove. I loved this number 22 shell car, and it's just a super cool casting. Check that out, man. Nice. All right, here we go. We have the number 24. I want to say... ah. Uh, is it Byron that drives the number 24 out of the Hendrick out of the Hendrick lineup? You guys comment down below, but I want to say it's Byron, but uh, I can't really see the name either to confirm that. Oh, here we go, guys. Another beautiful Austin Dillon in gold. Dude, that is so cool, man. So cool. And I think I remember reading an article saying that... Uh, Dale Jr. wants that number three to be retired. It just at least in that font. And then here we go. We have the number two Keselowski's number two, actually, the discount tire. Man, look at that, guys. He is loading us up with these beauties. And check it out, guys. You have the gold 24 Hertz. There you go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is Byron's, uh, William Byron, right? Something like that. Yeah, I think it's William Byron's number 24. Yep, there you go. You can actually see his name better on this one. William Byron. That is cool. So this is almost like a liquid chase because they, they do have liquid chases of these small ones, guys. So typically you'll have, I've seen where you'll have two of these exact liveries, but one has the liquid chase paint on there. Pay attention guys, I've seen them, they are out there. And next up we have the number 48 Ally car. It almost reminds me of the old Exide car, just from a distance, the black and the purples and all that, kind of looks like the old 99 Exide. But another awesome car to throw in the lineup. You have the Camaro again. My man's throwing all the Chevys my way. What is up with that? There we go. Chase Elliott's Mountain Dew car. Look at that pearlescent green. Man, that's a nice, that is a nice paint job on that. Digging the camo stripes on there over the Mountain Dew. That thing is super sweet. So there you go. Team Rubicon. 
All right, looks like we got three more of the NASCARs. Let's see which final three these are. We got the number 43, my man, number 88, and the number 12. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at this one. There you go. Old Bubba Wallace. My, my man getting banned for the next couple races because of what he did at that last one in Vegas. Oh man, still a super cool car though. Number 43 McDonald's. There we go. So and then next up we have the number 88 Alex Bowman. Check that out. The nationwide car in blue and white. Another awesome one. And then the final one is the number 12. Ryan Blaney with that same livery of Joey Logano that I just absolutely love. That is just a cool deco. I don't know what it is with the stripes and how it just ties into the number. Something about it. I don't know. I really, really like that. But check that out. My man hooked it up with the small scale 187s for the collection, but not even close to being done, guys. This is definitely gonna be a part three. I know I take a little bit longer going over each cast, but I really wanna capture this stuff for you guys. Ooh, and here we go, the Maisto. Ah, <laughs> nice. Oh man, if you guys remember, I hooked King Nut up with this one and the hauler right before I left Arizona, and dude, it matches the red edition, which is right where you at. There it is. I was gonna say, I know I did not get rid of it. So same one, except that one has the number five meatball. This one has the number three. This is an actual car. So I think that's why Maisto was able to do it, but they just had to switch the number so it doesn't match the one Hot Wheels did. But uh, dude, detail on this one is really, really nice. Man, it's so good to get this back in the collection. I didn't regret giving mine to Kingnut because he's a huge Porsche lover and I really wanted to hook him up with it. But uh, we got it back. We got it back. And we got two more in here. We got one with a really cool race livery. I think I have this one carded. But check this out. I don't even know what the name of this is. And it doesn't say, so it's gonna keep you guessing, but it is more of a fantasy casting. I'm really digging that satin blue with the with the camo deco and of course the race team livery and those huge PR5s in red. That looks really good. I never really disregard Hot Wheels race team ones. I just think they're the coolest even if it's fantasy or not. And then next up, here we go. We have another Formula open wheel car. Beautiful copper though. That is a nice copper metallic. Got the white base. Black MC5s with a chrome blue trim. And there we go. This is actually a really cool one. This one is the F1 Racer. Nice. All right, now next up, it looks like we have a bag full of Porsche and two Ferraris. My dude, we got the orange RSR. Check that out. Nice. I think I have one or two loose over here, but... Here we go, another one to throw in the collection. Never hurts to have more than one of those. And next up in red, look at this beauty. Got another Porsche 911 GT3 RS. This is a variation I have not seen. Nice red enamel with the white stripes, black PR5s with the red chrome trim. Just needs a little TLC on those wheels. Got a little bit of rust, maybe from some moisture, but you can easily clean those up. So nice, man. All right, next two, we got some Ferraris. Look, oh man, this is a beautiful blue. 458 Italia. We just got a black one in loose. Now we have the blue one loose. I do have the blue one carded, but man, that's such a beautiful color. So there we go. Number two for the collection, and then followed up with the 458 Spider. Look at that blue metallic, man. That thing is super nice. So you do actually have the huge trap fives in the back, smaller ones up front. But yeah, those are originally chrome and yeah, we gotta clean up those wheels just a little bit. It, it happens guys, no matter where you keep them, if you get a little bit of moisture or water around those axles, they are gonna rust out. So that's the only downside to collecting loose cars is you have to be super careful for moisture or anything like that or anything to get inside of the interior and cause corrosion and all that. But Oh my gosh, guys, it's never ending with Rich. Oh, dude, is this that custom? Oh, my man. Oh, no, it's the Skull Shaker. Check this out. 
Dude, nice. Look at that. God, those wheels look so good on there. And look at that, guys. He motor swapped it and crammed a huge, huge motor out of it. Look at those velocity stacks. Love how he detailed the goggles and painted his helmet. Dude, nice, man. Let's go ahead and put that bad boy right over here. Dude, that is sweet. Oh, and check that out. He's got a little road on there. Oh, can't overlook that. All right, let's put that right next to the other customs we have. Sweet, man. Definitely appreciate the case. Look at that. <laughs> we have Kyle Busch and Martin Trix Jr. Check that out. Number 19 and 18 of the interstate, along with the auto owners. Nice, dude. Nice. That is awesome. But guys, this is... This is a lot. Oh my gosh, we have a multi-pack in there, but we're not gonna get to that. We are going to save that for another episode. I know guys, I know. I know you guys hate waiting, but I have to keep you on the edge of your seat with these unboxes, especially stuff from Rich, because my man throws a variety of stuff. And I cannot thank you for this, man, especially the pink Dale car, dude. Freaking awesome. Along with some beautiful castings, we got the JDM tuners, some matchbox variations, wheel errors, and all the goodies that we saw at the beginning with these loose castings. So a huge, huge thanks, Rich, man. I appreciate you so much. That is all we have for this episode, guys. Stay tuned for part three. I know, another episode to wait for, but congratulations to the winner of the 8,000 subscriber giveaway. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. Give them a congratulations, and we'll see you for the next giveaway. But until then, until part three comes, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up, and of course, comment down below. And until next time, guys, this is the Mustang Hunter. Peace.